I think I need to introduce to you myself personally. I am Tam Asuya, the artist author of Recremandation Vena Philosophy. After a book written on artists overriding concern is to impart the substantial usage of their books. And mainly the reason why I am here now with you is to share with you this reflective thinking to achieve wisdom with inspiration, love, values, and trust. Welcome to my humble abode of a good dream. Na kamusta na po kayo? Sana po lahat tayo nasa mabuting kalagayan, may pag-ibig, kahalagahan at uh, pagtitiwala sa isa't isa. Yun po ang uh, haligi ng sangkatauhan. And so rejoice, hopefully everybody would be inspired on my artistic art imparting a prelude to a good dream, the abode uh, of uh, human wisdom, the mansion that represents inspiration, love, values, and trust. Kung wala po ito, wala pong saysay ang ating mga pinagsisikapan at uh, hindi po natin maabot na mas natuparan ang ating mga pangarap sa buhay tungo sa kapayapaan at pag-ibig at kagandahan ng sandaigigan ito sa gitna ng pandemya. What is the hallmark of my achievement as an artist? Way back in 1967, I was uh, commissioned by the Ayala Security Corporation, now Ayala Land, to execute a mural for the Sanctuary de San Antonio uh, at Ports Park for the Ayala Sobel family. It's an honor to be with uh, the masters, uh, Fernando Sobel and uh, Fernando Amorsolo, the national artist. And uh, followed by my mural for the DBP, Development Bank of the Philippines, way back in 1987, entitled Balikatan at Pagdiriwang. As a writer, uh, I have authored a book, Recommendation, na published in 1999. My first book and my second book was published in 2015, entitled Seal of Art, Tampia Austria, my inspirer, a collaboration with the late Ali C. Guillermo and yours truly. And I think after a book's written, all authors of a writing concern is to impart the substantial usage of their works. And mainly the reason why I am here now with you is to share this reflective thinking to achieve wisdom with inspiration, love, values, and trust. What's the contents of knowledge and some of idea? Along the way, you'll encounter this word, metaphysics, in academic notion, on something above one's head, complete, intelligent, and offshore philosophical perspective that makes possible to meet problems in calmness. What is uh, metaphysics? Metaphysics uh, is a branch in philosophy that deals first with principle. It is uh, an abstract concept such as uh, well-being, knowing beyond time and space. It is an assurance in all undertakings, standpoint, safeguarding principles or teachings radical reform are important meaning of vision and mission to be accomplished. In this metaphysical innovative world 
Recremando Isim Rena, my inspirer. A religious act that sets personally to establish belief, behavior, based on parameters of the ten basic principles, namely realism, creationism, aestheticism, modernism, intellectualism, nationalism, democraticism, optimism, and the turning point on recommendation based on naturalism principles. In academic notion, abbreviated syllables and acronyms of letters, like a twist of fate, transform this word recommendation na sound meaning of new creation of God to put into one's memory how to be inspired in this model inspired world and how it works on principles a realization of a good dream and how to do it based on natural desires and instinct. Reclamando Isimrina is my fantasy mix of imagination and reasoning. A religious act that sets personally to establish belief, behavior, based on the perimeters of the standardic principle, dubbed by my fellow artists as my incorruptible, honest way of learning through artistic appreciation. What is uh, the philosophy of a writing concern? The impact of my art imparting deals with the inseparable body and soul. The body that represents the art and the soul that represents the beauty. We are the boosters of humanity. We are the busters of pandemics in humanity or COVID, destruction, corruption, depression, and differences. We are the indestructible you. We are the incorruptible you. We are the immunerable you. We are the inseparable you, meaning yearning, one understanding, one vision, one mission to be accomplished as natural, intrinsic work of humanity. What is uh, the contents of knowledge and some of idea? Right now, we are on the spot of uh, infrastructural moral commitment. Well, on top of this building is uh, right there, up there, is uh, the pinnacle of human wisdom. What is the pinnacle of human wisdom? Before I tell you the, uh, the saga or the story of this uh, mansion, dubbed by my fellow artists uh, as uh, by product of the brass from Tanay Kubu transforming to Antipolo mansion. Here is the story. Here is the saga of my humble beginning. From Tanay Kubo to Antipolo Mansion. Way back in 1971, after my short stint in the U.S., I had a one-man show at the Hidalgo Gallery in Makati City. 85% of my obras were sold, and after the show, everything was sold. The good news spread out, and during weekend, art collectors, art connoisseurs, and entrepreneurs rushed to Tanay for a commission work. But there was this art dealer who was very impatient to focus uh, her commission work only on her painting, a painting after a painting for her. I felt the pressure of the demand and supply 
If there is a demand and supply, I would have to increase my price. But that was the opposite to the dealer's uh, hearing. And the dealers uh, look at me, look at our dampa, look at me from head to foot. He pointed her finger on me and she said, you know what, Tom, you are not on the classification of national artist uh, Fernando Avasolo, Botong Francisco, or Manasala. You know what, Tom, it's nice to set fire in your house. Ang sarap sunugin ng bahay mo. Unlike uh, a thunderbolt, it hit in my hypersensitivity. And I promise to myself, you'll make my day, may araw ka din. After three years, I saved money. And uh, I said, I will construct a firefruit building. Nobody can burn. So here is the mansion. During the blessing, the dealer showed up. And I said, this is a moment for me to retaliate. I confronted her and I said, you are not invited here. You are a god crusher. Get out of this place. And the dealer stand still. And again, she pointed to me her finger. And she said, Tom, if I didn't belittle you, you would not have reached this classification. And uh, again, I said, P.I.K. After you mark me down as if I'm owing the whole of my life to you, you are a sweet tongue twister of all lies. You are a person like uh, an idiot. But uh, after my blood pressure, pressure slimmed down, I came to realize that she was right. If she did not humiliate me, I would not have reached this hallmark of classification. What's the moral deterrent here? Don't flare up emotion of hatred. Understanding the nature of challenge holds on the shadow of suffering, agony, and sorrow as the inner test on one's power of courage, where at the end of the road is a blissful realization of a good dream. Every artist has dreamt of to serve as inspiration to everyone. You know what? The dealer up to now is dealing with my art and we establish our friendship and good art partnership, sharing bankable art stability, prosperity, and success. I have ended to you my story. And now I'm borrowing your precious time on my explanation. Well, now I can point to you the, the house in, infrastructure are dubbed by fellow artists as by product of the brass. And uh, on top of this building, right there on top, is the pinnacle of human wisdom. What is the pinnacle of human wisdom? It's a good dream. Kung maganda itong pangarap na ito, kailangan na natin itong lansyahin. Kaya, what is the good dream? It is uh, the art reservoir for glorious Philippines. Laga kang sining dangal Pilipino that will re-emerge and to make art visible again and will be explorative, explainable, and reachable in the countryside. Now you see the roofing of the house, the balcony. It represents the pyramidal impact, aligning on the bastion of humanity that 
represent inspiration, love, values, and trust in realization of a good dream. The art important meaning is vision and mission to be accomplished. By acting immediately on the first fila that represents the forum's meeting of the mind, and the second pillar uh, represents the manifesto's declaration of aim. And the third fila that represents the mandates. And the fourth pillar ultimately represent the magnitude of gratefulness, hope, inspiration, love, values, and trust. In the magnitude of inspiration, love, values, and trust, and humility. You know what? These are all M's. The first M is meeting of the mind. The second M is uh, manifesto. The third M is the mandate. And the fourth M is the magnitude of gratefulness. And you know, there is another M. The milestone of celebration. And another M is for mercy. Owing the rest in the mercy of God. Without further ado, I would like to begin in the prehistoric period. The Haman ancient testimony that inspired this good dream of our reservoir for glorious Philippines. Way back in uh, the early civilization of the Egyptian, 5,000 years BC, the classical world after that, the early Christians and the light period, the dark age spirit of the medieval, the revival of the spiritual creeds that stresses on humanism, knowledgeable object, in all branches of learning, in the arts, humanities, and intellectual pursuits. In our modern time, in this radical art reform, uh, transforming from uh, the modern period to our present time, the 21st uh, millennia century, in this COVID age of maturity, responsibility, and wisdom, in the pandemic's uh, age of adolescence, duty and understanding based on the majority's rule and soundness. Back in the prehistoric period, the Haman ancient testimony that conserves human spirit as in Altamira Cave in Spain or Las Cocoras in France, Petroglyphs at in Angono Cave, archaeological facts. Artifacts by researchers, historians, and scholars. In advancing this vehement ancient testimony that conserves human spirit, I'm borrowing your precious time to listen to this very carefully. If art holds on the basic spirit where man gets strength and power for that reason, art measures the quality of life. There's flourishing essence, period during which anything that lasts, representation of good example and monumental immortality of mankind. A way of life that believes in somebody or someone or anyone that serves its own righteousness to fit in the glorified standard in the universal society, something that centers man's heart in the universal affection of the Almighty God, who holds on the power above all, sharing us the divine spirit in artist dexterity and divine grace in physical activities, and especially to one's natural gift and ease in using such bare hands with invincible miracle and healing power. 
capable to express what is deep in one's heart to share it to the world's soul at least, so that other people may enjoy what other people have enjoyed and cherished on something that we cannot touch. This intangible object, Venus Sin Nidagrass, upholds the power of beauty and capable to respond to the integral stimulus, the basic motivation inclining to human sensitivity that influences the mind and that powers judgment. The inseparable body and soul, a spiritual backbone, inspirational foundation, where all the nerves are connected and that supplies life that rhymes to life, moderately to the heart of this explanation. In advancing this special proposition, Art Reservoir for Glory Spiriting, Lagakan Sining Dangal Filipino, that will reemerge and make art visible, explorative, explainable, and reachable in the countryside. The Art Reservoir for Glory Spiriting will rise in the central part of Luzon, in a nation crucified from north to south, east and west. The Art Reservoir will rise in the eastern part of Rizal, in Tanay Rizal, on 7,000 square meters, breathtaking overlooking Laguna de Bay, with the same moderate climate as in Baguio or in Tagaytay, especially during the end of the year. The Art Reservoir for Glorious Philippines will rise in all regions, in all cities, in all municipalities, as a flag and seal carrier of the Philippine Republic. The Art Reservoir is uh, in a solid state benefits and art entrepreneurs good partnership, especially on bankable exceptional incentive or in bankable art stability, prosperity and success. Art Reservoir will conserve the ontology of Filipino culture, the inherited legacy, the values, the inspiration, the passion we were taught by our parents and teachers of what a child should be when they reach the age of maturity, responsibility, and wisdom. In what we believe, the Filipino artists have exceptional talent fitted in the glorified standard in the universal society. Where humanity communes with more friends, no enemies, safeguarding um, debonair's uh, prowess of Filipino cult culture, gracious reputation based on this bedrock solid formation of a good dream. It is a tourist mecca of a breathtaking traveler's destination than offering wealth and fortune back to the people in transparent public service as a, a flag and sail carrier of the Philippine Republic, promoting art and culture in all facets of life that rhymes to life and to the rest of the world. This world that anticipates best possible outcome. In the bonding spirit of Balikatan, Bayanihan, encouragement, enhancement of human interest and humility, in conscience of reflective, transparent, and over of dignified service, especially in the high noon of our leadership's loyalty for country's glory, last but not least, for one's heart to achieve the thermodynamic equilibrium, meaning passionate, effective balance between inseparable body and soul. And we have to act immediately on the second pillar that represents the manifesto's declaration of aim. Underneath adaptation of recommendation perimeters 
of principles for the enrichment of the spirit and to make it transparent in public service. What is our moral responsibility? We are safeguarding human wisdom. Well, like a dreamers. And dreaming, perhaps, is not so bad if one dreams good dreams to make it come true. You know who said that? It was uh, Paul Harris who said that. And he continued, we need men of microscopic vision who will explore the molecules, the stones, and the electrons. We need also a man of telescopic vision who will explore the stars. Let's uh, join hand in hand to explore the starry meaning of man's fortune and destiny and become a dreamer, like a child dream to reach for a star, to become a matini idol, a megastar. That child dream is a dream. We cannot take it away from a child because all of us are born dreamers. We are thinkers of eccentric things. We are dreamers of beautiful dreams. or ever dreams, unless harmless to mankind, normally it makes this world go round like a spiritual influence in a good environment that continues to evolve every 24 hours, uh, day and night. Each day is different from each day in pursuance of artistic excellence. We are the boosters of uh, representational art based on natural common sense in scientific object, system of thought, faculty of reasoning, in obtaining knowledge, and power of the mind. Pain, what life like. We are the boosters of uh, creativity, especially in inspired matter. But ever a thing is made of creative thought that has said to take on form. The gift of fertility based on human behavior to create, invent, especially for the enrichment of human spirit. Moral ascendancy on this beautiful planet Earth, not just a planet, but it's a home where everything deserves what is best in this world against inhumanity. In these proverbs, tell me where you live and where you'll be buried, and I'll tell you the kind of person who you are in this proverb. A home, no matter how big, no matter how small, deserves what is best in this world against inhumanity. Or against someone, daring someone, hey, look who's the one talking. You know what? That is like a curse of guilt that boomerangs to the same person who said that. Never say that again, masama yon. So we are the boosters of beautiful objects. Yeah. Inspired by the master's obra, painting what is true to life and beautiful. We are like beauticians, charmer, giving you this beauty. The beauty that brings feeling a sense of well-being in the state of joy, health, harmony, peace, uh, and prosperity, bankable art is stability. In the state of joy, with complete trust based on spiritual conviction, this intangible object on something that we feel, but something that we cannot touch, the heartfelt inner reality that wins over all. In the name of God, our Lord, the omnipotence, the reality, the almightiness, whatever other people may interpret it that governs everything, that inspired them, a political, cultural, language, ideology, that inspired a good governance based on this good sense as a moral commitment. In the state of health, in our pandemic period, that uh, damaged our economic, global, financial system, lockdown economy, this uh, unforeseen health enemy of fear, 
traumatize humanity and we are the victims. We will retaliate over COVID with art harmless, bloodless, non-strife weapon by observing the protocols, social distancing, wearing masks and face shield, washing hands frequently with alcohol, not to forget, not to take a bath every day. That's very important. Don't be hard-headed. Huwag kang pasaway. Huwag matigas ang ulo. In that environmental discipline, art is an assurance in all undertakings will prevail. Prevailing hope that anything of a good dream can happen at any amazing moment of time with excitement and surprises. Nevertheless, strength and faith of unquestionable belief to refrain mankind from asking too much questions so that there may be peace of mind or rest in peace. We are the boosters of intelligence based on intellectualism principles. That explains the metaphysical abstract theory and academic notion on something above one's that complete, intelligent, and offshoot philosophical perspective that makes possible to meet problems in commerce. On the test of any philosophical barometers or instrument, in case there is a change of opinion, as an assurance in all undertakings, a standpoint, safeguarding, advocacy, teaching, radical art reform, art important meaning. We are the boosters of um, patriotic flag and silk carrier of the Philippine Republic, based on nationalism principles. As developer of social and moral character, paramount importance for realization of social dreams of abundance and multicultural aspiration of all nations, people of common origin, regardless of race, colors, and creeds that communes with more friends, no enemies, safeguarding debonair's province of Filipino culture the gracious reputation based on this bedrock solid formation of a good dream. We are the boosters of freedom based on democraticism principle. In one's birthright, liberty and freedom of expression, especially in a society that practices equality. We are the boosters of positive thinking based on optimism principle. The protocols uh, that end up with a maintainable environment, especially salubrious, healthy, polluted, free environment, knowing that inspired art reflective life is a cause of environmental influence. In this environmental reminder, huwag kang pasaway, huwag kang makalat. Don't scatter the garbage anywhere. By that environmental discipline, there is an assurance that art will prevail, revealing hope that anything of a good dream can happen at any amazing moment of time with excitement and surprises, nevertheless strength and faith of unquestionable belief to refrain mankind from asking too much questions so that there may be peace of mind and rest in peace. We are the boosters of all practices, all isms. In a selfless, selfie, self governing, and mainly self independent in the world, non state controlled, with complete intellectual viewpoint. We are the boosters of inspiration based on the turning point of recommend Isimna for this cyber and COVID age of maturity, responsibility, and wisdom. 
reviving the spiritual creeds that stresses on humanism, knowledgeable object in all branches of learning, in the arts, humanities, and intellectual forces. We are the boosters of natural desires and instincts based on naturalism principles in scientific objects. Precisely observing life without idealizing, imposing values and judgment without antipathy or aversion, or never say no to nature. In this phenomenal explanation, discoverable by reasoning. In this perimeter of ten basic principles, in religious act that says personally to establish belief and behavior, and in religious truth based on the natural world as a whole of reality, whatever other people may interpret it that governs everything that inspired a good governance based on this good sense. And the complete intellectual viewpoint based on this um, perimeter of the basic principles uh, for tra to make it transparent in public service, we are acting immediately on the mandate of proper alternative green life if this proposition is okay or not. From the first chamber to second chamber uh, based on executive order on covenant of support, endorsement and implementation based on the majority's rule and soundness. If more than two agree in some respect, probably agree with others to concede in harmony with uh, attested testimonies, witnesses, signatories, and especially multicultural representation. And the mission is on a halfway a conflict. Another M is there is a milestone of celebration. Another M is uh, owing the rest is for mercy. In the magnitude of gratefulness, hope, inspiration, love, values, and trust and humility. In the magnitude of gratefulness, we are thanking God for a godly given lives in this marvelous world of arts and patronage and continued growth on aesthetic creativity, especially for our youth the future of this generation. In what we believe, there is a land beneath the sea. There is a shade under a tree. There are people with big hearts, the good Samaritans, the Lady Bountiful, the good doers. This is a calling on philanthropic, selfless, charitable aid, resting on the art of recommend Isimna, inspirational foundation, is a very supplement to one's natural gift to enhance wisdom of knowledge, experience, and understanding the existence of humanity. Sharing the philosophy's general concept of formation and object is to justify if there is deficiency. Feeling uh, nobody is perfect, we have limitation. But uh, we cannot point on anybody's weak point, but we have to move on. And feeling and servicing the philosophy's ethical order, uh, the bottom line is to establish a way of life, a culture governed with rules of natural laws and proper authority. This proper authority is well-defined learning in a festive educational strategy that could be applied for all education. That is what we would like to work out for all mankind, to realize and to make attributable to anyone. Much as it works on anybody's joy, just like stretching one's arm in fairness, art not only for those who have, but also for those who have not. Art not a monopoly of visual art, but art as a symbol of human vocation in all business and profession. In magnitude, art, the bigger the other better, is worthwhile of man's dignity and pride. To make a challenge and demand, and to reach a final decision to know which holds the best ability and power. 
and that best ability and power should be availed of the poor for the rich, for every person on the streets, in jails or in classrooms or in hospitals, place of worship or private or institutional buildings, on walls and ceiling, done in painting or sculpture as in other cave deposits. I mention cave because caves holds on vehement ancient testimony that can serve human spirit and that's inspired. This uh, at Reservoir for Glorious Philippines, Lagak and Sining Dangal Filipino, though it's a long overdue dream, but anyway, wisdom is immeasurable. Beyond time and space, it can wait forever. In the magnitude of hope, may these uh, attributes and virtues or sign of goodness be transmitted into Titus righteousness, harmony at home, order in nation, and peace in the world. This world anticipates the possible outcome. In the bonding spirit of Balikatan, Bayanihan, encouragement, enhancement of human interest, and humility, in conscience of reflective, transparent, and over of dignified service, especially in the high noon of our leadership's loyalty for our country's glory. Last but not least, for one's heart to achieve the thermodynamic equilibrium, meaning passionate, effective balance between inseparable body and soul. In the magnitude of inspiration, love, values, and trust, and humility. We are borrowing words of wisdom in the biblical Ad Age, uh, Old Testament, Genesis, and uh, in the New Testament, divine intervention on popular John 1, 3, 16. In Filipino Proverbs, it said that, Haba-haba daw ng prosesyon sa simbahan din ang tuloy. No matter how long the roadway is, there is the road end. And uh, let me be a holy joy for you in this short moment of meditation. You know what is a holy joy? A holy joy is informally declared pastor or preacher. So let me be a holy joy for you in this short moment of the station in the Genesis. That God created us from a formless wasteland, while a mad wind swept over the waters and God said, let there be light and there was light. And the light he called it day, and the dark he called it night. Thus evening came and morning followed the first day. On the first day God created the frictions, refractions of lights and shadow. And that was a humble beginning to recall what happened on the first day. God created the day and night from the small bank theory to the big bank theory, blossoming of the universe, nebula. Layers of clouds and gases mark man's mortal imagination to ponder or to think about. What is this strange genetic phenomenon? Where did it come from? And who created it amid the feeling that requires strength and faith beyond doubt solution. If that is a man-made catastrophe that requires come power to think solution. So what happened on the second day? God said, let it be doomed in the middle of the water so that the water from above may separate from the water below. And God called the doom the sky. Evening came when he followed the second day. On the second day, God created these clouds arching the earth. And you know what? This cloud was clean, was pure, untainted, and apart from the virus of the giant industrialization methane of contaminated man-made solid waste and the World Conservationist Union, calling on the polluters of the world that contributes 70 million or more carbon dioxide every day by gravitational field of influence, it comes back to us in the formation of global warming change of climate, sickening humanity, and put this world in peril. So what happened on the third day? God said, let water be gathered in a vision so that the dry land may appear, the earth and the ocean, 
and God saw how good it was. Let there be plants bearing seed and trees bearing fruit, citing our concern on our salubrious, healthy, polluted, free environment, knowing that inspired art reflective life is a cause of environmental influence. In this environmental reminder, wag tayong pasaway, wag tayong magkalat, wag tayong don't scatter the garbage just anywhere and don't be hard-headed. In that environmental discipline, there is an assurance that art of a good dream will prevail, prevailing hope that anything can happen at any amazing moment of time with excitement and surprises, nevertheless strengthen faith of unquestionable belief to refrain mankind from asking too much questions so that there will be peace of mind or rest in peace. So what happened on the fourth day? God said, let there be greater light of the day and the lesser dark of the night. He marks the time, the days, and the years. He sets in the minaris in the sky, and God created the moon, the sun, and the stars. Citing our concern on the starry man's fortune and destiny that symbolizes brilliant role of performance, especially to a child dream to reach for a star, to become a matine idol or megastar. The child dream is a dream we cannot take it away from a child because all of us are born dreamers, but thinkers of eccentric things. We are dreamers of beautiful dreams. However dreams, unless harmless to mankind, normally it makes this world go round. Like a spiritual influence in a good environment that continues to evolve every 24 hours, day and night, and each day is different from each day. So what happened on the fifth day? God said, let there be esteem water of abundance of living creatures, sea monsters, swimming creatures of the sea, and winged birds in the sky. And we are citing our concern on this extinct fauna and flora at sea on land or in the sky. So what happened on the sixth day? On the sixth day was the turning point of man and woman in God's image. And God said, let there be wild animals, castles, or anything crawling on land. And man and woman in his image, he created them. God saw how good it was. Seeing its goodness, God blessed them and God said, Be fertile and multiply, subdue the earth, and have dominion over the living things. Another word of fertility is to create, invent, especially for the enrichment of human spirit. Moral ascendancy on this beautiful planet Earth, not just a planet, but it's a home where everything is served, what is best in this world against in humanity. What happened on the seventh day, God rested, he blessed the day holy. Such is the story of the creation of the heavens and the earth. Why, I'm telling you the story of the Genesis introspectively to look into the examined thought and feeling of the artist how the artist, where well, there is an artist in every person, were well inspired in the pardon of God's creation. Harens of belief were acknowledged God without physical intervention, but by the divine intervention. And there is the divine intervention, not because that my wife's name is divine, given to her by her parents' iconic name, iconic name. There is a divine intervention in popular John 1, 3, 16, that God created us from dust. From dust, we will return back to dust. And he gave this world that he loves so much to his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That eternal life swallows out that which can die. God created us for the reason, gave us the spirit, so that we will live again. The spiritual life that is processed the hearts of the lead that acknowledge God without physical intervention, but by the divine intervention. May the divine spirit be put upon us and be glorified by all nations. Through his blessing, it makes us consider best of mankind to become tender, merciful, refined, civilized, and godly, responsible, humble person forever and ever to be so a realization of a good dream. My dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you very much for sharing your precious time and ability to appreciate and understand something had with your sympathetic ascension. And I would like to propose a toast. Please uh, join me, raise your glasses of wine. And in the atmosphere of peace and unity, especially in bankable art stability, prosperity, and success, I'm saying, mabuhay tayong lahat, mabuhay ang bansang Pilipinas, mabuhay ang buong mundo, and thank you, thank you very much. Welcome and enjoy. Thank you.